into this abandoned prison, uh, Burwash uh, prison. We, uh, there's a lot of conflicting information online. If we can actually get in there, try to call a couple phone numbers that we found online for the owner to uh, get permission, but uh, didn't have any luck with that. So we're gonna explore out to there and see if we can find our way in and if there's a way to sign this supposed waiver and pay our 20 bucks so we can get in there. We don't want to be trespassing on someone's property, but definitely be cool to check it out. Driving down these roads, it was hard to imagine that they were once dotted with houses, businesses, and other buildings. In its peak, the town of Burwash housed up to a thousand people. Due to the prison's secluded location, it was too far to travel from Sudbury or Killarney, so the town was built to house the prison staff and their families. After the prison was closed in 1975, the town gradually was abandoned and all buildings in the actual town of Burwash were demolished in 1994. After this, only the large prison and a few outbuildings remained at the site, about a 45 minute hike away. Laura, is it okay if we drive your vehicle down this Sit road? This city vehicle. <laughs> All right, heading into the Burwash prison. Let's go. It's unfortunate a lot of people dumping their garbage, not dumping their garbage, but throwing pop cans and water bottles and stuff. It's like people, you're going in on someone else's property. Ooh, big jump. At least have the respect to clean up after yourself, seriously. Mid-October. It's actually a little warmer than it looks. It's getting a little deeper. And there's a trail over here. I don't know if I should tell him this. He can keep his feet dry, but he's the only I'll follow him. Oh, it's warm. After hiking for some time, the large ominous structure came into view. Here it is. Built in 1912, right? <laughs> wow. Oh. Ah. 
crazy. People in their garbage. <clears throat> Just inside the prison now. Really cool. Checking out uh, all the different uh, areas, all the old cells, and uh, definitely been a lot of people here over the years. It's uh, a lot of graffiti and places pretty trash, but really cool. Just out in the wilderness, this prison. Really neat to explore. <laughs> It was greatly disappointing to see the amount of garbage people are leaving here. <clears throat> Steel stairs are safe. Oh yeah, raccoons or something. I think maybe. <clears throat> oh, there's the top of the elevator shaft. The amount of friggin' graffiti, eh? The amount of graffiti. Yeah. Look over. A lot of lead paint. <laughs> Let's hope not. <clears throat> Is this the top or? All that friggin' tile. <laughs> Little Shawshank Redemption hole. <laughs> Walking through the prison, you could tell it had been closed for many years. The extent of damage will soon render the building structurally unsafe. If it's not already. Oh, is that what it said? Yeah. decided to leave them there I guess or they just didn't come out <laughs> So 
So we tried to do our part, got a little bit of garbage cleaned up along the trail. There's so much at the prison though, there's uh, not much we can do there, but anyway, cleaned up a fair amount along the trail, try to keep things clean. If you guys come in here, do your part, bring a bag, clean up, take out your own stuff, makes a difference. Hope you enjoyed the Explorer of Camp Bison, Burwash Correctional Facility near Sudbury, Ontario. Love to hear your thoughts and comments about the prison in town. Thank you so much for watching.